three, two, one. All right, day 18. Uh, put uh, yeah. Cubes have six, uh, they have six. Right, because that's just plus or minus one dimension. Don't want to count the inside. Okay.
That's the right way to do it. Okay, uh, I don't think that was really the right way to do part two, but that's okay, I guess. Let me see if I can change this to solve both parts. slow. So my idea, okay, so part one is um, how many, so we were given uh, these set of points, which we're supposed to think of as one by one by one cubes. And the question is, uh, what is the surface area of like the set of points, right? So a one by one by one cube has six sides. Uh, and then each of those sides count towards the surface area, unless they're like two adjacent ones, right? Because like these guys, uh, if they're right next to each other, then they're not part of the surface, right? They're just part of the shape. So the question is, like, how many of these sides are not right next to each other? Uh, cool. So that prints out both answers. That's good. Um, and then in part two, they say, okay, well, if it's next to air, but the air is completely trapped inside, then don't count it. Um, and so I'm not quite sure what the best way to do this is. Okay, actually, I can think of a nicer way than what I did. Uh, so what I did is I just said, okay, all the points that you go to that are air, just do a flood fill from those points and see if you reach a lot of points with your flood fill, right? If you can flood fill up to like, because things that are on the outside will be able to flood fill out to infinity, right? There's like infinite space around the shape and things on the inside will only be able to flood fill like a little bit because they'll be trapped by the shape. Um, this is 30 seconds. So, uh, of course, what is a little bit versus a lot? It's not clear. I tried 1,000. That was too low. I tried 5,000. That was big enough. Obviously, it depends a lot on the input. Um, by the way, a way to do this much faster is to sort of save results from previous flood fills. Uh, so... Um, like, if you return true, then uh, out dot add x, y, z, I guess. And if you return, this is basically like memoizing. I guess that's maybe the right way to think about this. Uh, in fact, we could do like, what is it, LU cache or something? Uh, it's a little bit more than memorizing because we're doing everything that we see in the flip. Uh, Do this. That should be very quick. Oh, but it's wrong. Let's 
is valid Python. Okay, cool. Makes it run uh, like a hundred times faster or something. Um, yeah. So same idea, except instead of repeating the flood fill for every single point, I keep track of the points that I've already decided were in or out. Right, which is if I you know finish a flood fill and I decide it was out, everything in that flood fill is outside. Finish a flood fill and decide that it's in, everything in that flood fill is inside. That makes it run much faster. That doesn't change the logic. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. See you tomorrow.